you sick? No. Come on, Kathy. No. Look, the last time you said this time you would. I did not. Yes, you did. I did not. I never said I'd close early. Look, nobody's going to want anything this time of night. Somebody could. OK. You know what I am? Late show at the cavern. <laughs> Jerry, I can't close now. This is the cavern we're talking about, Kathy. And that is the heart of rock and roll. And you want to miss half this show so you can be here in case some jerk runs out of toilet paper? Control, want some coffee? Nah. I'll buy. Cream, no sugar. <laughs> I'll lose my job. Anyway, how do you know I like the cavern? Your eyes. You got rock and roll eyes. What does that mean? Well, they're hot like rock and roll. <laughs> See? There's fire inside them. Your eyes tell everything about you. Well, I guess nobody's going to come in now. Well, all right, get your stuff. We're going to party down tonight. Okay. Okay. dropping 80 over 40 but he was stabilized he was probably in shock it's a cardiac status failing not responding to vasopressors the sponge isn't working let's have a little section what's his blood pressure so the patient says three months cancer of the everything what am i gonna do give me the good news suit you you're gonna resection that though no, the hole's not big enough. I'll just do a little knitting. I've got no pressure. Ventricular fib. Okay, calcium chloride, isoprel now. Stat, what do you have? No response. All right, let's do fib. Bring it over. Let's go. Come on. Dr. Horvat to obstetrics. There's the doctor. Dr. Horvat to obstetrics. What happened? I thought we had a chance. I'm sorry. What happened to the other guy? I don't know. Dr. Marshall to OR1. Dr. Marshall to OR1. I do nice work. I'm Detective Sergeant Martini. Detective Greeley. How is he? He's stable. He'll be out the rest of tonight and most of tomorrow. I want to move him to the jail ward at county. Forget it. He said he was stable. And immobile. You move him, it could kill him. He could throw an embolism. He'd be dead in less than a minute. That would be tragic. When can he be moved? Four days at the earliest. Anything wrong with his arm? No. Cuff him. Is this really necessary? As of right now, he's a prisoner. He's a patient. He's a killer.
I want a uniform out here 24 hours till we move them. gave him another sedative a few hours ago. He should be coming out of it soon. I don't think we've met. I'm Marion Winters. Helen Hatch. You knew? I've been working obstetrics. Baby brigade. Yeah. He killed a cop the other night. That's why there's a guard at the door. I was wondering. Oh, well, another day of fun and games. Oh, the guard's name is Joe something or other. He's got the key to those handcuffs in case you need it. Thanks. Good night. Night. Oh, thirsty. Selma. I'm Jerry. I know. You ever been shot, Ellen? No. You should avoid it if you can. Where's the nurse who was here before? Her ship's over. Why'd you shoot him? He never even had his gun out. Aren't you supposed to read me something? Hey. You know the girl you hit? She's gonna be eating through a straw for six weeks. I never hit anybody. Why didn't? You asked the cop if you saw me do it. The cop's dead. And I got news for you, my friend. Yeah? I know what you're thinking. You think you're gonna beat this. Uh-huh. But you're wrong. There's gonna be no parole. After seven, after ten, or twenty. We're going all the way with you. Through that little room where they dropped the pellet in the pan. And before you choke to death, you're gonna puke yourself. And you'll be screaming. And your insides are gonna let go. That's enough! This man's in my care and I'm not gonna have him brutalized. When he's ready to be moved, I'll let you know. Till then, I don't want you near him. Can't wait to hear from you. If they set foot in this room, I don't care what time it is, call me. Yes, doctor. Thanks, doctor. It's weird, isn't it, Ellen? Everyone around here wants to keep people alive. And those guys want me dead. Why don't you just pull this IV out and make it easy for them? Here we go. No way. You have to eat. I can't. You've been through quite an ordeal. You need to keep your strength up. I'm left-handed, Ellen. I'll feed you. Okay. What is this? No one's quite sure. Chinese food's my favorite, Ellen. I'll just... I'll pretend. Chicken chow mein. Come on, chicken chow mein. 
it's working. No. Oh, uh, uh, sorry. Ah. Oh, oh, I I'm sorry. Look, you lie down and I'll feed you. You nervous? No. You sure? Yeah. Ellen, you believe what they said? You think I'm a sadistic cop killer? Think I could break a girl's jaw? Don't talk about that now. Well, why not? They needed somebody to pin it on. So they pick a guy who's all alone. I got no family or friends. They figure who's gonna care. You don't have anyone at all? No. I was married once. She died in an accident. I miss her. You like music? Yeah. Ballads, I'll bet. Slow dancing music. Yeah. It's your eyes, Ellen. You have slow dancing eyes. Don't look away. Your eyes say everything about you. This is fantastic, Ellen. Thank you. You sure you don't want to bite? I'm not hungry. You spend as much time with all your patients? Or well, doesn't your husband ever want to see you? No husband. Or your boyfriend? Oh, I get it. You just play the field, don't you? Leaving a trail of broken hearts. <laughs> well, there's got to be someone. No. Oh, come on, that's crazy. Pretty girl like you? Jerry. I'm not kidding, Ellen. Come on. Really, it's the truth. Oh, the truth is I'm a 26-year-old nurse who looks forward to working the way other people look forward to taking time off. I'm not pretty. Well, you may not be Bo Derek, but you care about people. You give it yourself without asking for anything in return. That's beautiful, Ellen. And that's the kind of beauty that'll never fade. Feel better? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ellen, you've got great hands. They should be listed in the yellow pages. <laughs> really? Hey, I got a friend that runs a massage parlor. I'll be your manager, okay? You make lots of money. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't kill that cop, Ellen. You believe me, don't you? There? Uh-huh. There? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He'll be able to leave tomorrow. I'm gonna have several medications prepared that he can take with him. The doctors at County can reach me with this problem. Helen? Are you all right? Oh, yes, doctor. I'm fine. I'll call the prescriptions into the pharmacy. Wish we had more time, Ellen. The world's always been a pretty cold place for me. And then I met you.
Would it be nice if you and I could run off somewhere by ourselves? I mean, just you and me, nobody else, just real quiet. Maybe a, a little stream running by. Whatever happens to me, wherever they take me, Ellen, whatever they do with me, I'm just gonna keep thinking that, okay? Just keep thinking about you and me running away together. Joe, I thought you might need some coffee. Hey, do I ever. <laughs> I haven't sat in one place for so long since Sunday school. Thank you. You're welcome. Dr. Cassini to admission. Dr. Cassini to admission. I put five grams of chloral hydrate in Joe's coffee. He should start feeling it pretty soon. I'll bring him in here. When he passes out, I'll get the key to the handcuffs. I'll have to give you something to help you sleep so we won't attract attention when I take you down the hall. You can stay at my place. You'll be safe there. Thank you. going? Are you taking him down? Yeah. Hmm. I'm going up. What a day, huh? What a day. You should rest now. I'm okay. You're still weak. No, I'm okay, okay? Hungry? No. You haven't eaten since morning. I could fix you something. No, I can't stay here. I got a They're gonna find out it was you. No, it'll be all right. 
I'll take care of you. You're safe. Hey, shut right? up, okay? Just shut up. I can't think if you're talking. I can't stay here. I, can't... I need some money. I need money. I'm make Mexico in three hours. I'm gonna need your cars. You got gas? You're gonna have to give me some cash. I'm gonna need some credit cards. Hey, Ellen. This is that cop. I know. What's it doing here? He was my husband. <laughs> <laughs>